Hey everyone, it's Christian, and today we're going to be talking about sin, obedience, and faith, using the example of Noah. You all probably heard of the story of Noah's in the Ark. Well, if you don't, it's totally fine. It's a good story. I'm going to start by reading a verse from the book of Genesis, chapter 6, 7 through 8. This is what God has to say about our world in that time. So the Lord said, I will wipe mankind whom I have created from the face of the earth, men and animals and creatures that move along the ground, and birds of the air, for I am grieved that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. The people must be pretty bad, huh, for God to flood the earth? Well, it all, you might have asked, how did all this get started? Well, it all started from Adam and Eve eating a piece of fruit in the Garden of Eden from the Tree of Life by, and tempted by a serpent. But we'll talk more about that later. Do you remember at the end of the verse, God saw favor in the eyes of the Lord? That means that he wanted to spare their lives. So he wanted to spare his family and his wife also. So he instructed Noah to build an ark in, in Genesis chapter 6, 14 through 18. So make yourself an ark of cypress wood. Make rooms in it and coat it with pitch inside and out. This is how you are to build it. The ark is to be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. Make a roof for it and finish the ark to within 18 inches of the top. Put a door in the side of the ark and make it lower, middle, and upper decks. I'm going to bring flood waters on the earth to destroy all life under the heavens. Every creature that has the breath of life in it. Everything on earth will perish, but I will establish my covenant with you. And you will enter the ark, you and your sons, and your wife, and your sons' wives with you. And so he did. No questions asked. Now that's faith and obedience. Would you build an ark that big in a place that barely has any rain? People probably thought of that too. And they teased and taunted them probably. And he still kept in the faith and obeyed God and still kept on building. Now that is real true faith. After he was finished building, God sent two of each kind of animal, male and female, into the ark. And they... And God shut the door right when the last one came in. And they were in that boat for 40 days and 40 nights. And that is a very long time to be in a boat. And when the floodwaters finally stopped, they all piled out. You see how much obedience and faith Noah had to be in the Lord? Well, that's exactly what I want you to be like. Me and I need help and work on this too. Trust in the Lord and obey Him, even if your friends don't. Just trust, obey, and faith. Have faith in the Lord, and you'll be fine. Well, that's all I have for this week. Remember, pray, connect with Him, read your Bible, and tell your friends. I'll see you next week. Bye!